All right, we're going to solve this problem here. It says find all real solutions of the equation. If there is no real solution, enter no real solution. So we have 2x squared minus 24x plus 12 equals 0. The first thing I would do here is recognize that each coefficient is divisible by the number 2. We have 2, the negative 24, and 12. So all of those coefficients are divisible by 2. So the first thing I'm going to do here is divide the entire equation by 2. And that will yield us x squared minus 12x plus 6 equals 0 after we do the division by 2. Now, the next thing we'd like to do is try to factor the equation because that would be the easiest way to solve the problem. So what we need are two factors of the number 6 that add up to negative 12. Now, if you go through the factors of 6, for example, 1 and 6 or 2 and 3, you will soon realize that none of those numbers will add up to the number negative 12. So that means that we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula looks like this. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. And the b stands for the number that is in front of the x variable. a is the number that is in front of the x squared variable, and c is the constant. So we can write down here that a equals 1 because there's no number in front of x squared. b equals negative 12 because that's the number in front of x. And the constant is just 6. So let's go ahead and plug in. So we're going to have x equals, now this negative sign that's in front of b, I like to think of that as opposite. So it's telling you to take the opposite of whatever b is. B is negative 12, like we stated here, so what we would write is a positive 12. Plus or minus the square root of B squared. I'm going to write a set of parentheses, put negative 12 inside that set of parentheses, close it up, square it, minus 4 times A, which is 1, and C, which is 6 and close that off, all over two times one. Okay, so let's simplify what's on the inside. X equals that positive 12 plus or minus the square root now, negative 12 squared is a positive 144 minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 all over 2. All right, let's scroll down here a little further. Give us some room. So we're going to wind up with x equals 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 24 is 120 divided by 2. So the next thing we'd like to do here is simplify what's inside the radical. And in order to simplify a radical, what we need is the largest perfect square that will divide evenly into 120. All right, and that number 
perfect square that divides the biggest one that divides evenly into 120 will be 4. So we're going to write x equals 12 plus or minus the square root of 4. 4 goes into 120 30 times. So we're going to split up the radical like so over 2. All right. And we will have x equals 12 plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2 radical 30 over 2. And the last thing we have to do is to simplify. And in order to do that, we will divide both the 12 and the 2 by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus or minus 2 root 30 over 2 leaves us with root 30. So our final answer, 6 plus or minus the square root of 30.